Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sai from Malayala. In this particular video, I am going to give you all the details related to CSAP registration of A Triple Twenty Twenty Two Amrita Entrance uh, Engineering Entrance Exam Twenty Twenty Two Counseling. So results are already out from Amrita. They already gave the ranks by taking the best of two percentiles of both phase one and phase two. Uh, like uh, how to proceed for the counseling process is what really important now. So that's what uh, we are going to see in this video. And many people requested me for this particular video. That is the reason I'm making it. And it's in your hands to hit the like button, and to also do share, and also do comment. So whether this video is helpful for you or not. Chalo, let's get into the video. And if you're someone who is also uh, like a JE aspirant and uh, looking for a good mentorship program for JOSA and CSAP counseling, so we already started our JOSA and CSAP mentorship program. So the link for the video where I explained about the mentorship is given in the description. Just go there, and if you are really interested, just click on the registration link uh, which is on the my website. The link will also be in the description, and from there you can register. I will be allotting a personal mentor to you who will be guiding you throughout the JOSA and CSAP counseling process. Chalo. So basically, if you see, uh, I am here at this uh, copy of handbook where they have given all the details related to the counseling in this particular PDF. So I'll be leaving this PDF link in the description. You can download it for more details. You can just check each and every details related to the counseling in this particular page. So they have mentioned all the campuses. They have like Amravati, Amravati, Amrutapuri, Bangalore, and Coimbatore and Chennai campuses and their contact details and exact uh, locations and everything. They have kept related to that in the first page. In the second page, they have given introduction and th these are all the branches offered. So wherever there is a tick mark like this, so like this, that means that particular branch is available in that particular campus. So wherever there is no tick mark, that means that particular branch is not available in that campus. So this is how it's going to be. I mean, you can just check the what are all the campus available in this ca particular Amrita, all the five campuses, Amaravati, Amrutapuri, Bangalore, Thamimbatur and Chennai. Next in the thing is like eligibility, like uh, candidates born on or after 1st July 2021 are only eligible to write this particular exam. So like they should have 60% aggregate of marks in Maths, Physics, Chemistry with not less than 55% in each subject. Like in each subject you should have 55, 55, 55. Overall you should cross 60. Now the selection procedure is like through AEEE as you all know and they can also, uh, they are also taking through JE, SAT, Pearson uh, and uh, so based on this they will be giving, giving you separate ranks so based on your choice filling they will check with which uh, rank you are getting the best option like for example 1 2 3 4 5 is what you given i mean your choices and you only opted for a triple 2022 and je events in this case what happens is if for example if you get a triple with uh, third option with the a triple rank and you get first option with je so in this case they will allot you the je because your preferred preference is that so that's what so based on the ranks you got in different exams here so what they are going to do is like they'll check which is the better option you are getting with which rank so whatever better option you are getting with available ranks so they will be allotting you that so through AEEE 2022 you will be having 75% 70 70% 70 seats and for JE Men's 2022 25% SAT score 3% and 2% for Pearson score so this is how it is and uh, this is the fee structure of uh, Amrita. You can just go through the fee structure. So like uh, campus wise, they have in, I mean, given the fee structure. So usually in VIT, we have category 1, category 2, category 3, category 4, category 5, right? Here also same thing, slab 1, slab 2, slab 3, slab 4, slab 5. Slab 1 will be having uh, like 10% of the seats and the fees will be 1, uh, one lakh and slab 2 will be 15% of the seats and uh, it's the fees will be 1 lakh 75 and so it depends on the brands also AI and CSC in Amravati and Amritapuri AI and CSC the, the fee is like it is more 25,000 more than Amra Amravati Bengaluru almost same to Amr Amritapuri and if you see in Coimbatore in the first lab there is no change in the second slab and third slab and fourth slab and fifth slab there is a change in 25,000 rupees so that's how it's going to be there you can just check the fees uh, according to the branch wise so based on the branch you choose slab you got alerted your, your fee will be uh, i mean decided for example if top 10 students in uh, uh, like top 10 ranks all, all everyone joined in the koyamathur so for all of them what is the fees for example let's say 100 seats are there so that means 10 percent is 10 seats all the 10 people joined in koyamathur that means for all of them 1 lakh 25 thousand will be the fee if the 11th students join same again he also keeps first option as koyamathur aie or cse something like that 
if he keeps the eleventh student will come in the this lab right because already ten seats are filled so that that's how they are going to check in which lab you are going to come here you need not to select lab one lab two lab three in the counseling process so like in VIT we need to select category one category two category three in the choice filling here you need not to do that so that is about uh, CSC AIE and uh, cyber physical systems uh, courses and if you see these are like EC related courses EC R E S E E C so just check with the courses according to the courses the fees is going to change and this is these are again some more courses here so this is the hostel and mess fee just uh, take a screenshot so you will get all the details like coimbatore what is the fee hostel fees what is the question deposit and what is it, what, what is the mess fees so all the details are here so scholarship is not allotted for the academic year only this year the whatever slabs you got are allotted this is only for this year from next year the slabs will change but in vit the slabs will be like that i mean category will be continuously same throughout the Four years. Here you need to maintain the CGPA. The consistent academic performance by securing cumulative CGPA of eight and above in case of scholarship slab one at the end of each academic year. Seven point five and above for slab two, and seven and above for slab three at the end of each academic year. And second thing is no disciplinary action during the period of study in the university, and clear clearing each semester without any arrear means you should not have any backlog this is the 15th august tomorrow is the closing of registration of first csap candidates are advised to enter their current available best je mains 2022 or scores no changes will be permitted after the allocation 16th august like reconciliation of payments like they will be checking all the payments on 17th august you will be getting a trial allotment that means so like they will give you a dummy allotment based on the choices you filled so if uh, like if you want to make any changes still you will be option uh, given option to change the options on 18th august and on 19th august and 20th august they just do the reverification again and on 21st august you will be giving your first allotment and one more thing once you got the seed allotment you need to pay 1 lakh rupees so you can see initial tuition fee payment for candidates confirming in the first round those who don't pay the seat will be cancelled and they will be out of the counseling so you need to pay at any cost before the deadline okay that is till 28th august okay if you get allotment and on 31st second round and on 6th september third round so there is only three rounds and the classes will be starting from september 21st got it next so the uh, so these are the options i have talked i am talking about like in the first allotment if you got accepted and confirm should pay 1 lakh rupees before 28th august done and accepted and opted for sliding sliding in the sense candidate should pay so even if you opt for uh, sliding in the sense or above options or uh, good slabs and all so like you should pay 1 lakh rupees before 28th august and participate in the next round for seat allotment and wait listed not uh, like whoever didn't got any allotment so you should not pay any amount you need not to pay any amount until and unless you get allotment so same thing for second allotment and same thing for the third allotment so in the third allotment there won't be any sliding directly only confirming okay so this is about the refund policies you can just uh, wait here take a screenshot and uh, go through the refund policies so Th that's all uh, this is the information about the counseling i hope you i have given full details about the counseling now i will be showing you how to register so i have just pressed the link in the description i came here now i will be logging in with one student data thank you vignesh for giving me this data so i have entered required details clicking on sign in so once after signing in if you see so if you see here uh, all these three are in green and uh, this is like pending upload mark sheet it is asking for 12th mark sheet now i will be uploading 12th mark sheet of this particular student upload mark sheet see now i have uploaded the required mark sheet like 12th mark sheet i have uploaded it got converted into green completed so now here i have two options one is like amruta csb 2022 scholarship category and amruta engineering entrance exam examination 2022 this is about the i mean uh, results and all so you need not to worry just come here from here if you see these are some instructions they have given to you like uh, minimum these many marks should be there if you don't have those like you will be out of the counseling and all all the stuff is there so now here there is a button called click here to complete csa registration by paying 5000 rupees so click here and uh, just uh, go through all these instructions and click on i hereby and click on accept and proceed to next okay chalo now what you have to do is here you need to complete your mobile verification so if you click on send verification so it will be sending an otp to your mobile you need to verify that mobile and then complete your fee payment of 5000 rupees 5000 rupees which is non refundable so once you pay the counseling fees you will be opening this kind of page so you are done with this so we are also done with this after that we have already clicked it and we have checked this box and click on accept and proceed is also done so after that like you need to 
send a verification code to your mobile and complete that verification and then after entering that finish mobile verification so after that paying the amount you will be able to see in this kind of interface okay so this is where you need to select the option you can select any number of options like first option what is the campus what is the branch what is the campus what is the branch so that's how you need to fill everything in the order so once you fill that so there is option called save preferences on the left okay if you click that your options will be saved you can edit till the last date thank you Dhiraj for giving me uh, your details so this is one more students application I mean same uh, login details and dashboard if you see he also submitted everything whatever required he also paid 5000 rupees if you see you like you see uh, this particular particular student already submitted eight preferences if you just click here so it will be taking you to this particular uh, page registration and all so here everything is there if you want to make changes in this like click on edit your preferences and you can add see like campus brand for example if i select amrutapuri all these things will be available whatever already filled you will not get them whatever is left over you will get them that's it so i am not selecting anything so this is how it's going to be there like whenever you do edit something just click on save your preferences and uh, if you want to print you can just print your confirmation and by the way tomorrow is the last date for you to register for csap counseling of amrita a 2022 so if you miss out that deadline you will not be allowed to proceed for the counseling so do register as soon as possible without any mistake without any delay so if you register only you will be allowed for the further process of the counseling so register pay 5000 and uh, fill your choices so for getting a dummy allotment on 17th if you want to change later on you can change that on 18th that's it guys uh, chalo that's it for this video guys if you find this is a time worthy video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind